Hello and welcome to another IC3D demo. In today's demo, we'll be taking a look at scanning an object using the Next Engine scanner and then bringing that scan into IC3D for a final render. We will be recreating a diesel perfume bottle by using the scan as our base model inside of IC3D. This process starts with scanning the bottle on the Next Engine scanning platform. After a short scan process, we can then bring the freshly scanned model into Next Engine's Scan Studio application. Inside of this powerful application, you can align, polish, and prep your scan for exporting into IC3D. Here, we are aligning the model's scan results using color dot indicators for precise model alignment. This allows for the scanning of high detail models and high accuracy. Next, we can smooth and fix the small bumps and gaps left in the model from the original scan. This will fix most blemishes in the model and allow for control over the amount of smoothing and buffing the model needs. Here we have an example of doing this process right on the small edge towards the bottom of the object, where we can quickly then select that area and deselect anything we don't want fixed. And then, like that, we can then smooth that area. Once happy with the model, we can then export this out in various 3D formats. Here we're exporting a .obj so that IC3D can then take it and import it into the scene. From here, we can use IC3D's native ray tracing engine and our material library to quickly set the object as a glass material. Then, adding a interior and liquid fill using our interior and liquid fill tool, we can quickly and precisely add liquid and our interior. Next, IC3D is also capable of creating the various and additional objects for your model, like the ring embossing of the diesel name on our model here. Using our Shape Modeler tool, we can quickly form the base shape of our ring. Once our base shape is done, we're going to then add a, another shape for our artwork area. This is where we're going to add our Diesel logo. Once you move that to position, now we can simply add our diesel logo in as artwork using Illustrator and then using our embossing native tools to take that logo and physically emboss it on our model. Merging the base object and the embossed logo, we can then move this into position on the glass cologne bottle. then dropping on a custom silver material and setting up a dynamic background so we can have this in our diesel only brave background. From here, we're almost done. We just need to add a fresh cap on top and position our bottle in place. And there it is. And from here, we can then set up our lighting rig, precisely controlling it to whatever rig we need, and then debuting the render as our final export. Thank you so much for joining me on this IC3D demo, where we took a model and scanned it using the Next Engine scanner, and then brought it into IC3D to finish off the model with materials, models, and eventually the final render. 